All right, so in this part, we're going to set up with Superbase and then we're going to do authentication with GitHub and Google as well. So to do that, first, we're going to create a Superbase project. So you can go into Superbase and create a new project. So I'm going to create a new here. I'm going to call this one uh, next uh, dash Superbase. And right here, we're going to generate the database dash password. So make sure you copy this one. And right here for the regions right here, make sure it choose close to your uh, regions. And right now we click on create new projects. So right now, while our project is uh, setting up, so we can go back inside our code right here. And then we're going to, I think for the, we're going to create a new .env .local. And this is where we're going to store the database that you just create. You can put it right here as well. Okay. So now everything's uh, almost complete. So the next thing is we're going to do is to set up this one. So you can go into Superbase or Zapper, but this one, as you can see, it is recommend to use the new package instead. So instead of the R Zapper, so for that you can go into the migration doc. You can click on this link; it will redirect you to this page. But I suggest to go into the click on create client right here. All right. So right now you can open this one in the new tabs. All right. So this is what we need to do. So first we need to install this uh, package right here. So we can just click copy this one go back inside our codes and then we can run this one so right now we can uh, paste uh, this command and then we can press enter so it will install the new package of superbase so and then we can come back here so this is what we need to do so i'm going to copy this one right here we're going back and then we can paste this one as well okay so right now we need to add the superbase url and the anon key from superbase and so for that, let's go and check out our project. So it look like everything is set up is complete. And you can grab this one right here, go to AP uh, setting, go to API. And this is the project URL, you can copy this one. And then we can replace this one right here. And also we can copy this one. And we can replace this one right here. All right, so right now, we uh, it's complete so inside the lips folder right here i'm going to create a new folder called superbase and right here i'm going to create this one it's going to be server.ts and another one is going to be called the browsers browser.ts okay so for the server we're going to run this one on the server and the browser we run on the browser so to set up that one it's really simple we can go inside here and for the create client, the, the same documentation, you can see right here, the create client. And this is for the client component and the server component. So this is for server. So I'm gonna copy uh, the code that we have here. And I'm gonna create a function for this one. It's gonna be export function, superbase server. And I can paste this one right here, the code that we just uh, copy. And so we need to import the cookie. So I import the cookie from the header right here. This one I do control dot. It's, it's importing from the, this package right here. And so right now for this function, we can just return this one. And right now this is ready to be used inside the Superbase uh, server action uh, and next year server action. Okay, great. So for our client, it's the same thing. We can go to client and we can just copy uh, this one right here. And let's go, oh, I think I forgot. I, I copy in the wrong file. So maybe we can remove this one, paste one on the server. And I'm gonna copy this one and paste it right here. But this one, I'm gonna call this one Superbase uh, browser. And we do not need this one. We can remove. And we can copy this one right here. And we can paste this one right here. Okay, so for this one, we can just uh, returning this I can we can return this one and make sure we import this one I do control dot as you can see it's auto import for me very nice so right now we have this uh, superbase browser and superbase uh, server right here that can be used inside the server or the client component so right now let's try to do authentications with our um, uh, githubs uh, right here so for that let's go inside our page and we should have this login with githubs so for this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new function it's going to be handle login with oauth and then this one the arrow function and then we're going to call this one on the login with github as well 
So on click this one, we're going to call this one. And I think at the same thing for Google as well. So I think so for that, we need to pass the parameter to this one on the login with the OWASP. So we can do something like this and also this one as well. So for this one, it's going to be GitHub's. And then for this one is going to be with uh, Google. Okay. And right now we need to have like uh, get the provider and the, our provider is going to be either GitHub or going to do our operator right here is going to be Google. Okay. So um, if we hit save this one and right now, if we navigate back inside our OS page, so you can see this is error because the on click right here is not exist inside the server page because this page right here is rendered from the server. So for this one, I'm going to convert this one into the client component. I'm going to use the client right here. So and so right now, if we going back here, we should be able to see that this is OK. Great. So inside here, what we can do, we can uh, call our superbase. So I'm going to create a superbase equal to superbase. And we're going to use the browser. Since this is uh, run on the browser, we're going to do superbase uh, browser right here. And I think I misspelled this one. This one should be superbase browser. And then let's go to browser and make sure I change this one. Nice. And right here, you can do superbase dot auth dot sign in with the OAuth and right here you need to give up the provider and the provider right here we can pass the as a parameter that we have this one okay and then we're gonna have the options so right here I think we can do the options and the option right here is going to be a redirect to so the redirect to right here is going to uh, location dot origin the location the origin here is equal to localhost 3000 or when you work with the, your uh, deploy this one it will be equal to your domain and we need to change the code and confirm with the session so for this one we're going to create a new route for now i'm going to just do auth callback right here okay auth callback all right so this is where it will be redirect to and so for this we need to create a new route called the callback right here so for that let's create a, a new folder called the callback and inside here we're going to do route.ts okay so we should be able to see this one and so right here we can just copy and paste from the documentation so if we go back inside here and we scroll down to authentication with oauth and this is how to implement it so this is like the route callback so you can see so we can just copy and paste this one and we can paste this one so basically everything here is just like um so when you redirect with login with github or google it will redirect back to this page uh, to this route and it will let's say for the server component so it will set up the cookie and things like that right here and also it will change the code as well if there is an error we will redirect to an error if not error we will redirect to the page and also if not we can just um, return the error page so we have the next parameter right here so for example when you call back right here if you do next right here let's say if you next is equal to let's uh let's say slash anything so it will redirect to that page but for now i'm gonna leave it as a, as a blank okay so that's pretty much it so right now let's try to set up the uh login with our githubs so right now, if I try to log in here, there will be an error because in our Superbase dashboard, we haven't set up this one yet. So right now, let's go back inside our Superbase, go to authentication, go to provider. And so for GitHub right here, we need to click enable. So we need the client ID and the client secret for this one. So to get this one, we can go into the githubs.com. And right now you can go to your profile. I'm going to go to setting right here. Let's go to the developer setting and click on the OAuth apps, which is the new application. You can give any application you want. I'm going to do next on Superbase and the homepage right here. You can do localhost 3000 description. It's optional. And this is the authorized callback. So this is where we need to copy from Superbase. I'll copy here and here and right now this one i'm, I'm i don't want to enable this one so click on register 
but right now you should be able to see we get the client id and so we can paste this one and for the client secret we need to click on generate a new one and so right now we have the client secret here and we can just copy and paste this one as well and make sure you enable and hit save okay so right now if we go back to our application and if we go back in here so if i click on github again so and support provider is not enabled all right so it look like there's something wrong we have githubs and google so and also we enable this one again i think maybe uh, we need to refresh this one and see i click again okay so right now for for message a provider is not enabled but i already enable here right you can see not sure why we have this error so we got the provider and i think for now let's go and just add the provider with the githubs i'm not sure why maybe i misspelled the provider here no look not it's not like that so maybe i can refresh this one again click on this one okay so you can see it's working but it's weird that i have to change this manually because that's uh because we want to pass this one so we can use both github and google and so right now let's try it again post slash auth and click on github okay so everything is working so now let's click on authorize right here so and then it will redirect back to the home page okay so because if you look at the auth callback right here it will redirect back to origin so the origin should will be our local host 3000 or it will if you deploy it will be your domain and now everything is uh, complete and if you're going back to the user right here i think we can go into the auth a user so you can see we have this user uh, already logged in right here very nice so um, now let's do logins with the google so to log in with google you can go into the documentation login with google right here so first we need to create the consents with the google first you can go to configuration and go to credential right here and so for this one you need to create a new app so as of now i'm going to create a new project this one let's call it with uh with say next superbase and let's click on create so it will take some time to create your projects okay right now if you complete you can click on this one and right now let's click on the credentials and click on the oas client id and right here we're gonna create the config consent screen first and now for this one we're gonna choose external click on create the name this one you can name this whatever you want i'm gonna name this one next uh superbase and the email which is i'm going to choose this email i'm going to skip all of this and then we can click another email uh, at the email right here again and then right now let's hit save this one and right now so this is like the scopes and everything that we wanted to access so for now let's let's say if what do you want when you log in with github uh with google so i'm going to choose this two right here i'm going to click on update and let's hit save and continue and for this one let's just click on save and continue as well and then let's go back to the dashboard so right here i'm gonna choose the public my apps so then we can test this one very nice so right now everything is good to go so we'll go into the credential create the credential click on OS again and now click on web applications and here you can give uh, this name so i'm gonna leave this as it is and for the this one i'm going to choose the localhost 3000 and for the authorize redirect url and this one we need to copy it from our superbase dashboard so for that let's go into provider let's go into the google right here and click on enable and this is the uh, os callback copy this one and we can come back here we can paste and i think i missed this one okay i need to remove this space right here so right now let's click on create so this one it will give you the credential for example the client id the client secret so i'm going to copy this one 
and this is a client id i can paste this one right here and another one is going to be client secret and we can paste this one as well so for this one is for android and the other thing we can leave it at blank and uh, i think for this one i'm gonna skip this one as well so let's right now let's hit save so right now our lock in google is enabled so as i'm now to test this one seeing i have only one user in my application so i'm going to remove the github because my github and my gmail have the same um, gmail so i want to make sure everything safe so for this one let's go inside the auth page and let's go into the google and right now as you can see it will prompt your google and then let's click on login and just click this one as continue so as you can see it will redirect back and if you look at back right here everything is good to go so we have the display name we got email and also the provider with google as well okay so right now let's actually test what what happened if we lock in both with github and google so right now i'm going to click on lock in with github right here so it will do the login with github so it will redirect me to home page so you can see everything is okay so but if you look at our dashboard right here we have only one user and because since the user has the same email, so if you use the first one to lock in with Google and the second one with the GitHub, so both of this one will result in one record only, even though the provider is different. All right, so so everything is good, so as I'm now. So, all right, so I think we complete. So in the next part, we're going to use this one. And, and then, so we're gonna do the page protections and also we're gonna do the lockout as well.